Hi, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, some uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, topic that nobody really uh, pays attention to it, but it uh, has an impact on uh, the growth rate or GDP rate of different countries. And uh, uh, it, the concept of uh, population growth or population uh, explosion and also uh, another trend that's called the depopulation uh, and it's caused by a lot of factors uh, is uh, something I want to talk about and also the fact that the uh, countries that have a lot of population like India and China they are they are also uh, countries that are really growing and all kinds of industries are taking roots in there and uh, uh, they are like an engine of growth for the world uh, whereas uh, other countries that used to be very affluent and important like Germany or France they have some growth but uh, they are not really uh, where you want to invest for the future uh, if uh, you want to make an industry that will grow Anyhow, uh, uh, there have been some studies on uh, depopulation uh, and uh, a lot of countries in Europe that, that are very affluent like the France or Germany or uh, uh, even Britain, the population growth that they experience is, uh, uh, is because uh, people are immigrating into it. Uh, some people find uh, living in France or in Germany uh, or in uh, Britain despite all the prejudice and hostility of the local population it, it still there is some uh, minor advantages uh, economically and they want to move in there and uh, uh, but the, if you uh, the, there's also other studies that have done with the populations of like uh, the Germans themselves, not the foreigners uh, or people who have come into Germany, but the you know the full-blooded Germans, and uh, their population is uh, is actually they're depopulating because uh, they they're very uh, uh, kind of we wealthy or uh, they're well-to-do and. Uh, uh, People who are uh, like that, uh, you know, couples that uh, have everything, they usually don't want to have many, many kids. They they probably just want to have like uh, one kid. So uh, population growth in the Ger between the Germans themselves, uh, we are excluding everybody else. Okay, the white Germans, the full-blooded Germans, is like 1.1 which means that every time uh, uh, two Germans they grow old and die then uh, the, there is 1.1 German that will replace them so in about 30 years the population is like half or something like that and then uh, uh, this is the same goes for British the full-blooded British and uh, I don't know about France but I know there is a strong depopulation uh, current in uh, in Russia. Also, uh, um, the you know I don't know if you are familiar with this terminology, the cabal, the the Jewish bankers or the financial establishment that controls the economy in some many uh, such countries. I'm not talking about Germany, but like uh, France or uh, even Britain uh, or uh, many little uh, European countries, the, the uh, ECB or uh, European uh, Bank, uh, Central Bank, is uh, uh, is uh, killing their economy by uh, QE and all kinds of uh, financial engineering. Uh, it's like the, their pol Politburo. So, uh, and there is a, a lot of industries have died and uh, d there isn't a lot of very, very 
uh, upscale, uh, I mean, uh, good jobs or even jobs that young people can uh, come in and make a, a living. So uh, even uh, when they have uh, depopulation because of not replacing the population with a new generation, they also have uh, their young people are moving out of these countries like the Irish uh, teenagers, Irish young people are moving out to other countries like Australia or uh, you know New Zealand or, uh, or even United States and the same goes with Russia uh, many uh, young Russians or even Russian women they, they don't really like living there because there is no future uh, there, there, aren't, there, there aren't very many good jobs and they are uh, moving out to many countries try life elsewhere uh, so uh, some countries like uh, Scandinavian countries they're getting influx of immigrants that are white they are replacing the population they have but it's not really uh, the native population it's like white of other uh, European descent so uh, the 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 population is looks to be stable, but it's really not. Well, things are not uh, things are very bad in uh, Japan, and uh, the Japanese uh, society is extremely close, and they reject all foreigners. Uh, well, they want to stop you from going there, but uh, uh, you know it's, it's it's not very easy life uh, for a foreigner. And then uh, <coughs> these societies like that, they are becoming depopulated because the old population is not being replaced by kids and uh, uh, teenagers or young people. Well, I, I was uh, I I used to live in New England, like in New Hampshire and Maine, and uh, my feeling is that those places uh, are also uh, experiencing depopulation because uh, there, uh, there's, for example, New Hampshire is very closed society and they really uh, don't like outsiders. And so uh, chances of uh, integrating in that society of marrying and having kids there are not very good. I mean, I, when I was in university in New Hampshire, there were some blacks, but they were mostly uh, like a sports, uh, uh, fans and that moved in there. Uh, and there, there weren't a few. Most of the population was white and uh, very uh, closed into themselves. And so, uh, uh, and the whites that have some kind of economy, like a uh, middle class or so, they don't really make a lot of uh, kids. Uh, they don't. Uh, well, I was living with this family, and they had two kids, but. Uh, the, in their neighborhood, which I was in the uh, like a semi-rural neighborhood, there weren't too many families like that. They were like uh, they were just uh, those two. And then uh, I used to work with another family, a young lady. She was with her husband, but they were older, and they had uh, a son that had grown older and had moved out, and. Uh, then uh, down the street some more, I was working for another lady, and she had two daughters that they had moved out. So everybody is uh, pretty much uh, like either, either two kids or no kids or kids that have moved out or, uh, you know. And so I think the uh, population is actually de decreasing, that is not increasing. And the population that's coming in is either black or Latin. Uh, well, I used to live there. I really hated living there because you know, it's just basically like an alien uh, from other space living inside there. But uh, that's not the, uh, you know, I don't want to go into their culture. But uh, uh, then uh, countries like India, where there is a tremendous population, the government does not control the population. Uh, the they have a massive GDP and their G growth rate is very fast. And uh, uh, well, I want to tell you a story. Uh, I kind of sometimes work or help uh, 
businesses that uh, have uh, very serious problems. It's like a um, like a uh, think tank for uh, uh, for people businessmen that have a strange problems. They don't know how to fix it. So there was this guy, and he uh, was the owner of this uh, big construction uh, company. Okay. So they, they make all kinds of office buildings everywhere in the United States. Uh, they were a major company. And they also had uh, uh, um, construction going on in many countries. So and he, he came to me and asked me, Hassan, uh, I, uh, our, our business is, has become so stagnant, almost like a, a dead. And we are not making new buildings. We are not uh, and the ones that we have, there's a lot of vacancies, and uh, uh, is the uh, well. The reason I told him is that uh, one of them is from for the internet, because the, every business has information content and processing, and many people are able to use less space because of internet and office automation and all that. And also another reason that a lot you, you are not looking at is that the population is diminishing here. Population, white population. The uh, if you uh, if your company went and made offices like uh, in uh, I don't know in, in uh, northern Mexico, okay, their population is uh, moving. No matter what kind of building you make. Uh, say you, you had an industry that was really stupid old-fashioned industry, like uh, you're making uh, kids' clothes. And well, there are uh, zillions of kids in uh, Mexico and in uh, Latin America. So even if uh, you're not selling the uh, pieces of clothes that you made at a high price, but y because you'll be selling so many of them, uh, y this business will, uh, will not only stay but also will grow. Uh, I, I was hearing that. Uh, well, actually, he said, "Yeah, I, I'm gonna try this idea and go and make buildings in uh, Latin countries." But uh, I heard that the most of the tide or detergents that uh, different companies here like uh, they make. They, it, it's sold not here in the United States, it's sold in like Brazil or uh, Mexico or, uh, you know. Uh, also, a lot of movies that the Americans make, they, they really don't uh, have much of a market here in the United States. It's sold uh, or, uh, or shown in uh, foreign countries. And there's a lot of population. So uh, having a large population, uh, that's not very uh, well off, and uh, not like uh, not like United States or Scandinavian country, but uh, you know it's just the population. Uh, they need basic stuff. Uh, they are not demanding very high tech technology because there's so much of these uh, people. Is so. Uh, Industries that are, are old, uh, passe industries like, you know, say uh, you're producing corn or uh, you know cans of beans or you're know, making tide, kids' clothes, uh, I don't know, household goods, uh, stuff that's not very uh, complex. Well, uh, somebody there is gonna buy that. I think that's where all the money. The Chinese manufacturers ha are making is from these industries. That there, there isn't a high margin, and they are not very high tech. But hey, there's so many people want this stuff, and uh, uh, they make some kind of money, or, or their economy is growing. And uh, the other good thing about such populations like Mexico or India is uh, no matter what you want to make, there's all these uh, people that are looking for work. Uh, say, for example, you have a service that you want done in the United States that doesn't depend on a given location here and can be outsourced to India or, uh, or uh, you know, uh, Mexico or 
Brazil. That's a uh, very nice, uh, uh, well, you know, for a few dollars uh, you can resolve that problem. And uh, the, the many of these countries are also experiencing phenomenal, phenomenal uh, growth. Uh, and uh, I don't know, I don't think that this situation will stay the same five, ten years down the road. These countries, the labor rate will be comparable. But, uh, but I, I think there is a way that the United States can compete and not to be at a loss is to uh, use robots to make a lot of these uh, old fashioned products. The, and the good thing about robots is that uh, just very cheap and you can uh, make a lot of these stuff and uh, sell them to countries that have a lot of population or uh, yeah well uh, right now also there is a lot of uh, cheap labor in many of these countries and the cheap labor uh, can be employed to do anything or bring products here well uh, uh, if uh, we cannot make a lot of money from uh, low-tech industries uh, here uh, we make that money from foreigners uh, then uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, demand for stuff that's uh, uh, high tech or the specialty products like specialty goods or handbags or stuff that the Americans uh, could make it here and uh, you shouldn't just totally give up producing stuff here uh, we, but just the stuff has to be luxury goods uh, so we can sell it right here so this uh, uh, subject of uh, population and the population has been uh, uh, of interest to me it's in the back of my mind all the time um, and uh, I uh, uh, my ex she uh, aborted my second son and I always uh, wonder you know how it would have been uh, to have uh, another my second son but uh, I'm, uh, I'm working on my third wife so <laughs> maybe uh, all is not lost and uh, we can uh, do something there in the future uh, I, I, I don't believe that uh, it's I think having kids is a good thing it's, it's, it's a normal life and uh, uh, you know what's going on here and it's leading to depopulation is, uh, is just a very bad attitude or cultural attitude and uh, uh, you know uh, I don't know may maybe a lot of people they don't think that way but uh, kids are expensive too but uh, I don't know uh, I think there's something wrong with the uh, with what's uh, happening right now in society and many people don't have kids and just I think the whole society is becoming a whole bunch of uh, old farts I mean uh, I, I sometimes go to some of these uh, stores in uh, affluent neighborhoods and uh, when I walk in everybody's old uh, everybody's about 40 or 50 and uh, it's just not very fun uh, you know I don't know. Uh, things uh, some s some places are, are not right. Uh, I think this is gonna lead to uh, pockets of poverty in uh, society, like like entire neighborhoods that have been abandoned because there is no more of these old farts that buy everything and have no kids and I mean and also a lot of industries they have to com completely shut down because. There is no customers, there is no young kids that want to uh, buy that kind of clothes or I don't know. Uh, uh, thank you very much for being in my uh, YouTube channel and uh, please subscribe. Uh, hey, uh, please uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this. Thank you very much.